Hello everyone, my name is Ian Buckle. I'm really looking forward to our seminar down in London on Saturday, May the 19th, on avoiding failure in aesthetic and everyday dentistry. Everything fails in time, but we really want to make things last as long as we possibly can. We certainly want to share that with our patients, that everything will fail, but how do we achieve success? How do we make things last as long as possible? Well, if we think about the aspects of complete dentistry, Things can fail from a biological perspective, caries and, and peri-op, we don't control those. They can fall, uh, fail from a structural perspective. A lot of our patients, the, what's remaining of their teeth is structurally challenged and we need to control that. But they can also fail as well if we don't get the aesthetics right. You know, we can get everything perfect, we can, we can make everything mechanically strong and we can control the forces, but if the patient doesn't like the way things look, then again we get a failure. And also as well, we can make things look amazing, but if we don't know how to control the function and to get the occlusion right, then equally we can get a failure because of that. Perhaps one of the things that's most significant in what we do is actually to understand what the patient is looking for, because we can get what we might call a psychological failure in that if we didn't understand what the patient was hoping to achieve, then things can certainly fail at that level as well. So. You can see it's a pretty complicated field. We're trying to get make things as successful as possible, staying away from failure. And the, what we're going to be talking about on Saturday is to discuss how we go about it. Most cases that fail don't fail in producing the case, but they fail at the treatment planning and at the diagnostic stage. So we're going to be talking about some ways of making sure that we get all the examination and records that we need to get a great diagnosis. We're going to be looking at how we use those not only to plan the case, but also to discuss the pa with the patient uh, what the options are so that they thoroughly understand what it is that we're going to do. And now how we're gonna go through a step-by-step -step procedure to try and share that vision with the patient so that there are at least as few, if, if hopefully no, surprises along the way. And hopefully that way we can avoid as many failures as, as possible. And uh, it's something that in 32 years that uh, I've been trying to do and I'd like to share some of my ideas with you. Look forward to seeing you then.